scary because we haven't wrote over it beforehand. <laughs> okay. Um, it's called The Princess and I guess I'm going to be reading it. We can like go back to the floor like paragraphs or something. Okay. Uh, it looks really creepy right there okay. though. Okay. <laughs> read. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How did the princess take control of our message board, if only for a few seconds? It didn't make any sense. Our message board wasn't a video game. Our message board pulled all of its information from the internet. The princess was already inhabiting the game at the same time. All the rules we thought we knew, all the things we thought kept us safe, had failed us. Could she have done this at any time? Could she do it again? Were there any real limits to what she was capable of? We looked through all the data we'd collected. We tried to find some common thread we'd be missing. There must have been some way we could have known. There had to be more answers than what we were seeing, and there were. We finally realized the truth. It was so obvious. The princess had been in our message board the whole time. She was on every page. She was on every forum list. She'd been staring at us, watching us for years, and we never even saw it. She was the banner at the top of the forum. She was every... She was every screenshot we posted, every video we'd uploaded, and every piece of fan art we'd drawn. Uh, every image of her is her. Every image of her was observed, gives her power. She's not a ghost. She's not a computer virus. She's an idea. Living fiction. She lives off our observation and thoughts of her. When we all watched that stream, banded together, and gave her all of our attention at all at once, we made her more powerful than she'd ever been before. We made her strong enough to manifest through the images we posted on our message board and we speak directly to we speak to it. <laughs> to us. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. <laughs> we took down all the images. From what we speculate, it's enough to simply never look at them again. But we deleted them all just to be certain. However, it may already be too late for us. I've been losing contact with other members of the society. I can't tell if, it's something, if something's happened to them or if they've simply gone into hiding. But at this point, only a fool wouldn't consider the worst case scenario. <clears throat> I'm not completely heartless. I know she's fighting for her survival now. For her being forgotten is death. She does what she does in the hopes of keeping her memory alive. To that end, perhaps my telling her story to the world is a small act of mercy. Maybe the thoughts I've lent her will ease her pain with somewhat. I don't know, but either way, that isn't why I wrote all of this. What I've told you, you could put... What I've told you could put you in great danger. It could also save your life. You're a target now, and in the months and years ahead, she may well come for you. But I've also given you all the knowledge you need to keep yourself safe. Do not try to fight her. Do not try to talk to her. Do not try to outsmart or trap her. Don't investigate. Don't try to understand. Don't try to be a hero. <clears throat> Don't try to be her savior. It is my sincere hope that I've given you all the answers you want, so you won't make our mistake and try to investigate further. There is one and only one thing you need to do to be safe. If you see her, turn off the game. Ba -da -da. Ghost bro. My house was built in 1904. It is a single-family home, wood frame setting on a concrete black foundation. I've been living here for about 12 years. All of the weird things that my siblings and me have seen or heard in this house, this one event is my favorite. This happened to my brother. About ten years ago, my brother and his best friends had started a garage band playing mostly Spanish rock alternative music, but in Spanish. His friends could only get together on Sunday afternoons. They would practice into the early evening, and they would usually call it quits by 8 p.m. This was the time I usually showed up and went to bed because I worked the graveyard shift. Uh, this happened 
In late fall, so the days were getting shorter, they had just finished a long session when a decision to head to someone else ha else's house came about. My brother handed his car keys to his buddy so they could load up the equipment. Everyone had filed out of the basement, but the tri tricky part was that they needed to walk all the way to the back of the basement, up the back stairs, through the kitchen doorway, down the hall into the living room, and out in the front porch. Everyone was outside sitting on my brother's truck waiting for him. My brother was walking up the back stairs when he remembered that he had left his pancakes in to, in a to go, go tainer <laughs> sitting on a speaker in the basement. He made the decision to go back. Never go back. Never go back into the basement yeah. alone. <laughs> now the basement is not clean with full sight lines. There had been what? Partitions. Oh, partitions made, and the boiler and main heating unit are right smack in the middle. So after my brother walks back, he is about to retrieve his food container. When out of the corner of his eyes, he sees it. The shadowy figure right at, his, right at his peripheral vision. The feeling of dread and uneasiness washed over my brother. He had been taught that if you are in the presence of a spirit or ghost, and you felt, felt a ba bad vibe, to say a quick prayer or... Or to cuss at it. Don't cuss at it. I'm like, what? Don't no. ever cuss at it. No. <laughs> My brother chose the latter. He basically just told uh, it, hey, fuck you. I don't have time for this shit. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's just going to piss it off. Yeah. I always pray. Oh, or yeah. I always, uh, even, or just saying like, Jesus. Like, I feel better just saying that word. I have a song in my head that I sing to myself when I get scared. <clears throat> um, my brother started to walk to the back of the basement and briskly up the stairs, closing doors and turning off the lights as he was walking out. The last light switch is on the opposite side of the front door. Luckily, the door was open and the light from the street lamp was flooding the living room with its amber light. My brother said he felt something at his back, but at no point did he turn around. As he flicked the last switch, <clears throat> the living room went dark, as did the rest of the house. As he stepped out, he pulled on the door, closing it behind him, still holding his food container in one hand. He jogged down the few porch steps. He walked towards the front gate. Our house resides far from the main street, essentially having a large front yard, but no rear garage. As he closed the gap between himself and his friend-laden truck, he kind of smiled and thought things over in his head, mad at himself for speaking out when there was no reason. He climbed to the driver's side of the truck, putting, a, putting on a seatbelt and getting ready to pull out of the parking lot spot directly in front of his house. When one of his friends asked, Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait, what about your brother? Didn't you come with this? My brother answered, What do you mean? He went to work early tonight and he's already gone. Do you see his car anywhere? The next question they asked, So then who was walking behind you when you were leaving the house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, freaky oh. paranormal. I love her. Wait, wait, which one scared you more? Which one seems more realistic to you? Which one's happened to you? Mm, yes. Share your ghost stories down below in the comments. Because they're real. Go check out my video on my channel, and I'll tell you all about my experiences. <laughs> yeah, and I did the video too. Yeah. There um, you go. So <sighs> this one like my last, my last video for being shitty for a week? Yeah. Oh, okay, then we should say something <laughs> about that um so yeah this is my last kind of kirby and jay video we might try to figure things out while i'm in wyoming but yeah yeah <laughs> This is the last one, so this is kind of like a goodbye video. Goodbye Halloween theme. Yes. <laughs> it's a mix. <laughs> it's a mix. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And I'll be, I should be back in like, I don't know. If I, ever, if I ever come back to visit her, we should try, we should um, film. Um, yeah. So, we'll keep you guys updated. Anyways, <laughs> here we go. I think it was kids outside, but never be too sure. Dun, dun, dun.
<laughs> I'm trying to be scary, Shay, okay? Anyways, so yeah, you do the outro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up and share it, share it on Twitter. Um, just with and whatever else social, social media, media you have. Um, we do shout outs on our own channel, mainly her, so make sure to be active on social media and get a shout out. And thank you for your view. Your view. <laughs> Thanks for watching this far in the video. <laughs> um, see you whenever we post again. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> okay, well, bye then.